Octopus, Aberdeen, Kale, Sawash, Fadeholder, Worm, Treble, Jig, Circle, Weedless. If I were to share that list with most people, their response would be... Well, they're the most common types of hooks and you might have been using them for years and not even known what they're called or what best applications they're used for. Let me help you with that. Hey, welcome to Wendell Fishing. Darren here and today I'm gonna to be covering the top 10 hook types, how they're unique and what fish you should use them for. Now this channel is made for all things fishing, how to, product reviews. I love fishing for bass, catfish, walleye, salmon, muskie, bluegill, gar, stripers. I love them all if you do too. Hit that sub and bell notification, smash that like button, and I will continue to produce content as valuable to you. Let's hop in. All right, okay, there are a ton of hooks out there, so let's start by getting down to the basics and understanding the different parts of the hook because every part of the hook has a name and the differences here is what makes up each type. There are seven different parts to the hook. Let me run through them very quickly. First is the point. This is the business end of the hook, self-explanatory. Next is the barb. This is a backwards facing spike that stops the hook from coming loose. Some hooks actually come barbless. Some fishermen foul them off. Why? Because barb hooks actually cause more damage to the fish and some anglers have some pretty strong feelings about this. I have strong feelings about this too more barbs please uh, then you have the throat this is the section of the hook running down from the point uh, which runs into the bend where the hook curves back on itself which runs into the shank which is the same as the throat but on the blunt end of the hook which runs up to the eye this is the ring that attaches the hook to the lure or line if you look at a lot of hooks you realize that there's all kinds of different types of eye angles and positions for different applications maybe i'll cover that in a different video and then you have the gap this is the difference between the throat and the shank um, this is sometimes shared as the wide gap or ewg extra wide gap all right there you have it now we can talk about the 10 different hook types now i'm saving my favorite for last because the last hook type is what i caught my personal best largemouth on so let's hop in number one type of hook is the bait holder and you guessed it used to hold bait this is why you'll see some barbs on the shaft to hold your worm in place maybe an insect or anything you found at the grocery store to throw in there i've been teaching my five-year-old mercy how to fish with a bait holder type hook this is great for pan fish number two is the worm hook and you would think it's called the worm hook because you put night crawlers on it right no it's actually this is what it looks like the worm hook is created for artificial plastics popular use is the texas rig um, the worm hook to make it weedless i use this type often as i fish artificial worms um, because my primary target species is the largemouth bass all right number three type of hook is the jig hook the uniqueness to a jig hook is that the eye of the hook is actually set at a 90 degree angle to help with the movement of the jig in the water so primarily uses a jig head or a fly and uh, the fish that this usually catches or the target species is can be salmon uh, walleye bass i've even caught muskie on these things fourth we have the circle hook now this is very popular with anglers because it prevents the dreaded gut hook uh, it's usually used with live bait now keep in mind not to set the hook hard and fast you will lose the fish forget everything you know about setting a hook with the circle hook. When fishing with live bait, the fish will usually swim away after eating the bait. And as the fish turns, all you need to do is apply some pressure and it will set it in the corner of the mouth. This is great in salt water for grouper and sharks. And for freshwater, great for carp and catfish. Fifth, we have the treble hook. All right, I'm trying to control myself by not using treble as a pun. All right, all right, I think I did it. Moving on. You see these hooks everywhere. Here's one right now. Uh, you'll see them on crankbaits, jerkbaits, topwater baits. Also popular hook for catfishing. I also use treble hooks with a live bluegill to catch musky. I'm a big fan of the treble hook because as you can imagine, the hookup ratio increases. It's hard to get this hook out of a fish mouth without catching something. Number six, the sawash hook. Now, the sawash hook is very popular for um, trailer hooks on the back of your spinner baits. Uh, it's known for having a long shank, as you can kind of see there, because um, what happens a lot of time on spinner baits, uh, bass will come up and short strike, which means they'll miss the actual hook. Um, you'll feel it, but you won't catch a fish. And so by adding a uh, sawash trailer hook, um, it kind of hides on the back end in the skirt, 
and if you don't have a swash hook as a trailer on the back of your spinner baits you should you'll thank me later for it number seven we have the octopus hook a lot of people think the octopus hook is used to catch octopus it is not the unique to the octopus hook as you can see here is that it has a short shank and the eye is actually bent backwards used to snell the hook if you don't know what that means it's literally a type of hook um not and then you can, I have a bunch of knot videos. You can head over. They're all less than one minute long, and you can find them at windowfishing.com. You can snell that type of hook. I utilize this hook a lot when bass fishing, artificial wacky worm style. And it also has an offset shank, so whenever you pull it out of the mouth, it catches part of the lip of the fish. So I'm a big fan of the octopus hook. All right, number eight, we have the Aberdeen hook. I like the Aberdeen hook for three reasons. Number one, it's a lighter gauge. So it means if you're fishing around uh, down trees and you get it stuck, you can actually pull it out and bend the hook out without breaking your line. And when you get it back, you just bend it back in place. Number two reason I like the Aberdeen hook is because it's a lighter gauge. So when you put it through your live bait like a minnow, it actually keeps the minnow alive longer, which means you are fishing longer and increase your chance of catching fish. And the number three reason, it actually has a long shank on it. So when you do get your fish in um, you can easily remove the hook so if you don't have fish with the Aberdeen especially for panfish your perch your bluegill your crappie you should be number nine we have the kale hook the kale hook is designed to fish a big bait live or chunk also known as a wide gap or shiner hook this hook does great with bass catfish trout redfish flounder it is a catfish worst nightmare all right, number 10, I saved the best for last, the weedless hook. Check this bad boy out. It's my favorite because I caught my personal best largemouth on this hook. Now, the unique part of this has a light guard over the end of the hook that allows you to fish around vegetation without having to clean off the lake every time you retrieve your lure. It's usually used in bass fishing. Uh, my favorite weedless here is the VMC Wacky Weedless with an extra wide gap. If you're looking for a solid weedless hook, uh, to fish a wacky worm that I will throw the link in the description below do yourself a favor um, I don't I don't work for them I don't I'm not an affiliate of them I just love their hooks because they're quality and they're super sharp uh, I lose very little fish um, using this hook so pretty awesome now if you've been around the hook section of your favorite bait and tackle store and walk through Walmart you see all different types of sizes for hooks you got two size 32 size 2 odd size 5 odd it's kind of confusing so I did a video if you wanted to understand the sizing of the hooks check that out in the cards above okay if this video brought you value if you learned something that you didn't know before please let me know in the comments below and also uh, hit that sub and bell notification smash that like button I will continue to keep this content coming now stop watching videos and get out there and start fishing see ya Thank you.